Please welcome Andrea Riceborough, everybody. Andrea Riceborough. not American. I don't know if you know that. You sounded American no, in there. No, I, I, I had the memo a couple of weeks ago. I'm you're not. You're not American? No, apparently. You're, you're, you're from? I'm from Newcastle. Newcastle in England? In England. That's lovely. Yeah. I've been there. Have you? Yeah, I have. That's the well, only place I've been. Well, it's not far from where you're from. Well, it's not far from that far from Scotland. It's very like where I'm from in many ways. There's lots of... <laughs> <laughs> It's true. If, yeah. you pa if you pass if you pass through the airport there, you'll notice they're having like a fried breakfast with a pint. Yeah, that's right. At yeah. like seven a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're making me homesick now. <laughs> me too. Yeah. Hey, uh, so uh, how's the film then? You play Wallace uh, Simpson. I play Wallace Simpson. Who's the lady that married uh, Prince Edward? Prince Edward, and then he uh, became King Edward, but he abdicated. I can the tell how many times you have watched it. Uh, yeah, Prince yeah. I know. I know the story. <laughs> it was. It's. it's <laughs> I'm. Um, um, basically, it's, it's, a, it's a, yes, it's a story about Wallace Simpson right. and his abdication. Yeah, it was a bad business. It, yes, no. It was it, I mean, it was. I know it was about 75 years ago, but people are still reeling over it. Was just about rotten, it. Rotten. <laughs> it was he just had to give up the throne because she was a divorcee, right? Yes, and, and, you know, the argument is that perhaps he didn't have to give up the throne. Well. But he did. He did? Mm. Well, he did, yeah, for love. God forbid for a woman. I don't know why anybody would do that. <laughs> really? There's been a couple out here who could have this chair, I tell you. Do you know, I've watched that snake from afar for so long and oh, I didn't know it was it? a snake. No, do you want to pet it? That's great, yes. Yeah. There you are. Feels Careful, like you nearly hit my knuckle there. <laughs> uh. So, uh, oh. now, now, how did you get on doing the film? Did you enjoy it? Because Madonna directed it, didn't she? I did enjoy it. Right. Yes, she did. Oh. Yes, she did. Did you understand her accent? <laughs> <laughs> I, no, that's not fair. No, so, you had a nice time. I'm sure you had a nice I had time. An, I had an incredible time, and right. she was very clear. I think, I think the clarity, or any, any lack of it, might have come from my character, because she was, a, a Baltim uh, she was from Baltimore. Baltimore. Did a you have strange, to work on uh, doing a Baltimore accent? Strange mid-Atlantic right? twang. What? Yeah, she she had all sorts of. She was it was like a real melting pot. Her accent, and she she lived so many places that it was. Are we talking it's, Madonna it's really, or the other one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're talking. We're talking right, about right, Wallace right. Simpson. Yes, Wallace yes, Simpson. of course we are. Yeah, no, she lived in Shanghai and London and, uh, and really? the south. What, what did she do before she met uh, the the prince of? Well, uh, she married two other people. She was on her third marriage. She was. So like that's me. I could be the Queen of England. <laughs> no, no. On, and in many ways, country. I have been. <laughs> <laughs> on the contrary, we probably what we like to do in those situations is just exile you for right. at least sort of 50, maybe to 70 years. Um, you know, the, the, and you're only allowed the, to come back when you die. Weren't they Nazis though? Weren't they no. Nazi sympathisers? I, in, in, in my opinion, no, they weren't. Right, they weren't. Okay. But I think you, you do a small amount of research into it, and then you realise that's all absolute codswallop. Really? Because I yeah. thought he was like, he was like, well, Hitler's not such a bad chap, really, that well, kind I, of thing. I, I, and, I th and I think many people at the beginning of Hitler's social reform um, had no idea of how... Uh, Just the, the extent twist that it was going to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Horrific. Yeah. Oh, it was I, going to be. You're saying Hitler was bad? <laughs> it's controversial, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> did you uh, did you like that time then? Did you like wearing all them fancy? Did you wear corsets and everything? They were, they were very helpful. Everybody asks that, um, you know, and it's and it's. Do they really? <laughs> yes, I thought I was asking something really unusual. No, <laughs> no. All right um, then. What does Madonna smell like? Anybody <laughs> ask you that? <laughs> no, they, My guess yeah. is patchouli. I don't know why. I think I'm a little bit like patchouli. I've never met Madonna, but like, I suspect a like little a bit like a bed of roses. Very beautiful. Yeah, really. <laughs> What's your favourite smell of all things? Don't say bacon. <laughs> it's like you're reading my mind. Yeah. Well, I know you're from Newcastle, so it's going to be bacon or... <laughs> Craisins. Craisins? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love a craisin. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the show. <laughs> The craisin is a mixture of the cranberry and the raisin. Have you tried such a thing yet? Um, no, I haven't. I haven't. But uh, my rabbit used to deliver them to me. Did you really keep a rabbit? I did. Uh, yeah. Her name was Daisy, which, was, which seemed like a brilliant idea until she ended up as a house rabbit. My dad used to have to call for her outside. Daisy, 
Daisy, come in. You know. You let your rabbit run free in the yeah. streets of Newcastle? Yeah. That's dangerous. The, 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 the thing was, Craig, I really wanted a dog. So we got so we got a cat lead, you know, like a kitten lead, and, yeah. and I would walk the and you know, I was like the mad girl who had the rabbit. Me and my sister, both of us, would walk the rabbit on the cat lead. It didn't really work. And then she had like a, a cat litter that she would use, and her favourite program was Neighbours and Australian Soap. Oh yeah, yeah. And every time the music came on, she would go and lie and watch it. But the rabbit would? Or yeah, but sister? then she became slightly vicious and had a bit of a tragic end. We're still talking about the rabbit on your sister. <laughs> All about or, the rabbit. Or, or Madonna. All about the rabbit. It's either Madonna, your sister, or the rabbit. Definitely, we're on the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're out of time. Um, so, <laughs> awkward pause, mouth organ, or a big cash prize? I'll have uh, the big cash prize. Yes, you will, but you'll have to earn it. Okay. <laughs> Do you time, my... time, time. It's time for the big cash prize. Big cash prize. American dollars, uh, singles are usually any strip club in these United States. You can either answer the question or you can guess what's in my box. I don't know what's in the box, I imagine the box, but I don't know what's in it, only Jeff knows what's in it. And if you get... You, 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 you. <laughs> <coughs> question or box? Question. Right. <laughs> I've never ever asked this question. I was hoping you would get the hint, so here's a hint for you. <laughs> All right then. Um, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. <laughs> Within ten, what is the world record for the number of times someone skipped a stone along the surface of water? You know when you skim it in the. Within ten. Within ten. <clears throat> Seven. Okay, that's very close. How close? It's close enough to get a second try. Within 10, it's 51. Oh, within 10 seconds. No, 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 within, within, no. You, now you're overthinking I'm sorry, it. No, I'm no, no. <laughs> how many times has someone skimmed, how many, how many times? Within 10. The answer's 51, so what do you think? Oh, okay, right, okay. 52? 52 is close enough! See, you look very elegant this well, evening. thank you so much. Very, very beautiful, like a beautiful regal portrait. Like a white tube. Like, not a white tube, more a sort of a, yeah, a little white tube. That's like a white it. tube. No, you don't look like a tube. <laughs> Do you know that tube in Glasgow in Scotland it, uh, yeah. means, uh, like, jerk? No, like, it didn't. It, yeah, yeah, it's like, look at that guy, he's a tube. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit. So you made me follow Zach Galifianakis? Well, I didn't make you follow him. <laughs> Make you follow him. It it's was not, not difficult at all. In preparation, I yes. did bring something just because you know it's kind of disappointing when a pre Raphaelite looking British woman in a in a white tube turns up. And oh, nice. After you've yeah. seen Zach. I see. Very good. So I thought that. Is that. Hey, this is good. It's like he's back. Let's play the word association game again. <laughs> Banana. No. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> I really want you to take those eyebrows off. Okay. Would it be bad if you're, you took them off and they took off your real eyebrows as well? <laughs> do you know, they, they, they very well could. Do you know, have you ever shaved your eyebrows off? No, I've not. I, I did it I once. I wasn't blessed with eyebrows. What are you talking about? Your eyebrows are great. They're drawn on. No, they're not. They are, they're fake. You can, really? You can, you can wipe them off if you want. Can I, can I touch them? Totally. They're real? No, they're, they're a little fluffy bits of hair, but... Well, that's what eyebrows are. They're not, they're not like they squirrel. Have, they don't have a pulse. They don't have personality. It's not like, oh, help me, help me. No, my, my brows have no coloration. Oh, really? Is it yours are nice and sort of full-bodied and Scottish. Well, I'm a man. Well, <laughs> Every now and again. Um, 
<laughs> anyway, look, uh, do you mind if I keep these? Oh, please. No, my, my actual eyebrows are still on mail order, along with the boobs. <laughs> I think, I haven't think arrived yet. I think your boobs look fine. Well, that's very kind. I did see you introducing me. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I was just, I was expressing, and it looked like I was saying. Well, I think that was Zach's fault because he did, you know, he did this. Yeah. Oh, then, and he gestured about boobs, and then I started to think about them because yeah. normally I don't think about them at all. <laughs> that's what set you off. Yeah. No, you know Zach, don't you? We've just made a movie together. Really? Uh, called Birdman, which is uh, about a group of actors pay p putting on a, a, a Raymond Carver adaptation. And, and it was such a, an amazing thing to film. And it was such a great experience because we filmed it in what looks like one shot. Wow. So we're all absolutely crapping ourselves that we're going to be the one person who... Crikey! Up. <laughs> it's an old British word. <laughs> so you and Zach made a film then? So we did, and it was yeah. directed by Alejandro Inarritu. Oh. I always try and pronounce it like, you know, I, I feel terrible saying, I, 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 I'm not exactly sure whether I get the pronunciation right every time, but it's Alejandro Inarritu. Alejandro Inarritu. Well, it yeah, also sounds that a bit difficult. like just a British person trying to say, uh, you know, fantastic name, really, really bad. You know what, I, see when you, when you watch the, uh, the news and the anchor man goes, today in Nicaragua, and you go, you don't have to say that, just say Nicaragua, and they're like, no, today in Nicaragua. <laughs> and you don't speak Spanish. Si. <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? I speak no Spanish at all. You speak French? I speak a little, a little French. Somebody once asked me if I spoke any French and I said un petit pois, which means a small, you know, small piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than a little bit. So yeah. that, it's on, it's on the better side of absolute rubbish. <laughs> Are you spells spending a lot of time in Britain? You sound like your accent might be getting stronger. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what it's like when you come from the north of England or Scotland? You, can't, you, you cling on to it, you go back and people say, you've changed. They very much look for that. I know that <laughs> yeah. a lot of people say to me, ah, look at you with your teeth and your accent. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a living. Like, ah, you think you're great. Well, you're no great. You're <laughs> rubbish. I remember Forget about that. That's the difference between <clears throat> America and England, because it, when I was little, people used to say, what do you think so special about you? And in America, they say, you're so special. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> to every child, which well, is great, which is yeah. wonderful, but it's the land of possibility in that way. Well, a little bit. I think it's a, a bit refreshing. I, I like it. You know, when yeah. people say... You, hey, you can do that, and you're not that bad. Not yeah. everyone says that. In fact, no one said that to me <laughs> yet. But you feel that it could happen at any moment. What's the film about? Well, it's a really easy sell. It's about the IRA. It's about a woman who's a female bomber in the IRA, and she has an estranged relationship with her son. So it's... It's a comedy, then. It's a really yeah. light comedy. It's a romantic comedy. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, the, my, my, li the lead who plays opposite me is, Cl is Clive Owen. He's good news, and isn't he? I mean, look at, he's handsome. look at how handsome an actor he is. He can, like, up and he can tell you things and act and then go, what? You know, <laughs> acting. He's great. I think he's fantastic. Acting. Oh, he's acting. He comes over there and he goes, what? Come on. <laughs> yeah, he did do that. Yeah, yeah, he did a bit of that. That's yeah, he did. Right. No, did he you see great. him in the croupier in that film, Croupier? Yeah, I did. Great in that film. I did, and that was, that was wonderful. Yeah. And so we feel most of it and then and then Clive came in toward the end and we, we had this world that we created of the IRA and then Clive's character kind of destroys it all but uh, I hear you're going to, to Belfast me I, I go there occasionally I hear you're making a trip soon reasonably I haven't been stalking you <laughs> I'm not Andrea who's Andrea well it was Zach who was stalking you oh, right. being Zach. you dropped one of your <laughs> eyebrows down your top no, I think one got there, but I think the other one went all the way down. <laughs> Which? <laughs> no, no, I can't say. It's not right. I, That's not a beard. It's... Oh, dear. I know, I can't. See, now everything's dirty. I'm sorry. Well, uh, it's been lovely to see you again. Um... Awkward pause? Uh, <laughs> or, uh, oh, let's do pretend laugh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Show business pretend laugh. Yeah. And then go to commercials. Okay, great. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everyone. I'll be back in uh, eight months. <laughs> yeah. 
can never get rid of them, can you? <laughs>